Hey guys, how are you? I hope you all are doing good and welcome back to another video. Today I am back with another amazing custom ROM for our Redmi Note 11 and this one is the superior official build for our Redmi Note 11. Let me show you its Android version and superior OS version and the superior OS version is uh, 13 as you can see here. Uh, Speedy OS 13 release and it is based on the Android 13. It is working pretty much cool and this one is the official build for our Redmi Note 11. Its security patch is all, also all the latest 5 November 2022 and the SE Linux status is also enforcing and uh, today in this video I will be showing you how you can install it on your Redmi Note 11 and is it stable for daily usage. Without any further ado, let's get started. Before starting the video, make sure to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for future updates. So the ROM is pretty much stable, there is no any single bug or issue in this ROM. Everything is just working fine, Bluetooth is working, Wi-Fi is working and uh, location is working, hotspot is also working and Woo Wi-Fi is also working in this ROM. So no need to be worried about anything, everything is just working fine. And if you talk about the applications, we don't get a lot of junky applications pre-installed in this ROM. Here we have only useful and needed applications and here we also have the gaming space option and that means you can use this ROM as your uh, gaming device. So from here you can enable some tweaks and you can also add the games to the library. And uh, then from the right you can access the Google feed and in the camera here we have this simple camera pre-installed with some settings as you can see here. And if you want more options like portrait mode and all other options, uh, advanced options, then you can go for a, a Gcam mode from the Google Play Store or you can also search on the Google. And uh, in the home screen, here we have this launcher pre installed. From here, you can uh, manage the settings of icon, home screen, app draw, recents. From here, you can enable the quick actions for the recent applications. As you can see here, screenshot, lens, and clear all. Then in the MISC, here we have a low home screen rotation. We don't have any option to hide or protect the applications. Then you can also customize your home screen by adding some beautiful wallpapers and widgets to it. Uh, from here, you can add the wallpaper and you can also set the any setup, any uh, monad color. You can also enable the dark theme. You can enable the themed icons. You can ch change the app grid right from here. And if you want to add some widgets, then widgets option is right here. You can add a lot of widgets to the home screen and uh, in this room here we have an application called superior walls from here you can download and apply a lot of beautiful wallpapers to the home screen and uh, i also applied this wallpaper from this application and the app opening speed is pretty much cool as you can see here the app applications are opening pretty much quickly so the speed is pretty much impressive everything is just uh, opening quickly as you can see here and uh, you can also do the gaming on it and uh, now let's go to the settings before going to settings have a look on the uh, quick settings first of all here we have the date on the top here we have time connectivity options battery brightness slider some shortcuts and at the bottom here we have setting option and power option and now in the settings here we have uh, the user icon at the top uh, right corner then we have the search bar, then we have some connectivity options, apps, notification, battery. The battery backup of this ROM is also pretty much uh, impressive. And as you can see here, my battery is on 32% and it is showing you, uh, it is showing a notification battery level low. And it is asking to uh, turn on the battery saver to extend the battery life. From here, you can check the battery usage, battery saver, battery manager, battery optimization. And we also have the extreme battery saver right here to reduce the power consumption and then we have a battery temperature after it here we have Spirial lab in the Spirial lab we have all available customization first of all you can read about their team then we have status bars uh, customizations first of all we have the network indicators then you can change the battery style and you can also enable or disable the battery percentage then we have status bar icons some other uh, Volti icon, Woo Wi-Fi icon, everything is just working fine. Volti is also working. Woo Wi-Fi is also working in this room. Then we have other uh, icon settings. Then we have quick settings. And uh, some button settings from here you can enable the volume wake or uh, you can also enable the playback control. Then we have navigation bar. From here you can manage the system navigation bar right from here. 
then we have cashiers here we have system settings from here you can enable quickly open camera one-handed mode which is working pretty much quickly and you can simply operate the whole screen by using only one hand and uh, then we have press and hold power button prevent ringing then we have three finger swipe gesture and some other gesture like tap to sleep on status bar or lock screen then we have lock screen options and here we also have the edge lightning right here then we have power menu from here you can enable the advanced restart options right from here then we have themes option from here you can change the uh, font style to any of these then you can change the icon pack signal icon pack wi-fi icon pack a lot of beautiful icon packs avail are available then we have icon shape navbar style is also available then we have notifications and in the notifications we have in call vibrations then we have misc in the misc we only have two options like ripple effect and ignore window square flags then we have storage sound and vibration now in the sound and vibration we don't have any sound enhancing technology pre-installed and we don't have the dolby atmos pre-installed in this room so this is the negative point of this room then we have display in the display we have brightness level adaptive brightness extra dim you can use this feature if you are using the mobile phone at really dark or at night then we have lock screen settings you can enable the dark theme and you can also adjust the size of uh, display and text then you can also make the text bold or high contrast then we have night light uh, you can change its intensity too you can change the color profile and here we have tap to wake full screen apps and app refresh rate we don't have any option to uh, enable the smooth display and we cannot set uh, the maximum or minimum refresh rate in this ROM but these options was available in previous Android 13 based ROMs I don't know why they are not adding these useful features in this ROM maybe it will be added in, in future updates then we have wallpaper and style accessibility security now in the security uh, no need to be worried about the security because uh, lock screens are working and the fingerprint is also working pretty much fine but we don't have any option to add face unlock uh, I don't know why they have not added it but we have to go without the face unlock if you want to use this ROM so you can use the fingerprint as your primary uh, security option but maybe the face unlock will be added in few updates then we have privacy location safety emergency passwords and accounts digital well-being which is the updated one system Google and in the system we have languages and input date and time backup updater multiple users and reset options and at the end here we have a bot phone from the bot phone you can check the Spiridos version which is the 13 release and its android version is also 13 as you can see here it really feels smooth and uh, its security patch is also all the way latest 5 november 2022 its security patch is also all the way latest 5 november 2022 so the rom is pretty much stable as you can see here se linux status is also enforcing and uh, this rom is uh, pretty much stable there is no any single bug or issue in this rom everything is just working fine Wu wi-fi is working volt is working there is no any single bug or issue in this rom so if you want to install this amazing custom ROM, Android 13 based custom ROM on your Redmi Note 11, then you just have to download this period OS from the link in the description and reboot your device into an installed custom recovery. After going into the recovery, go to format and format the data, then go back and install the ROM. And after installing the ROM, you can also install the custom recovery, uh, TWRP recovery to make it permanent from the advanced. That's it. The installation process is pretty much simple. And like other ROMs, uh, the instructions are also available in the description box so you can uh, follow them to install this home so hope you guys like this video if you really did hit the like button don't forget to subscribe my channel keep supporting thanks for watching peace and if you have any queries or questions about this room then let us know in the comment section and you can also join us on the telegram the telegram group uh, group and channel link is in the description go and follow us thank you so much